on today's unboxing, we're unboxing Arcade Blocks M for Mature. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey everybody, welcome to today's unboxing video where we unbox Arcade Block Mature M Edition. I'm super excited. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, we did the E for everyone. Got some cool items like the Parappa the Rapper plushie, Pac-Man bow tie. Isaac liked it. I liked it. I don't know if I'd wear it, but anyways, let's talk about the Mature Edition. It's supposed to have items uh, for, well, for 18 and over sort of mature games as it's supposed to be. None of you kids should be playing GTA. You don't play GTA, do you? Yes, you do. He plays GTA. I make sure the sound is down and he can't kill people. But he drives around, right? Yeah, it's fun. Anyways, <laughs> terrible dad, I know, but eh, it's my kid. So, here we are. Gamer Block Mature. So, we're supposed to have uh, stuff from, like, Fallout 4, which I'm a big Fallout fan. And, uh, yeah, just different items that are M-rated. Probably, like, Call of Duty stuff. But hopefully we never get a Call of Duty item. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I need Call of Duty to go back to World War II uh, just to redeem themselves and get rid of this futuristic crap. But that's a different video and we won't talk about that now. Anyways, are you ready? La -da -da -da. Oh, all right. We'll close that up. I just got a quick glimpse. I don't know what it is. So Isaac, give me the top item. The pin right off the bat. So here we go. This is, oh, the Lone Wanderer pin. Now look at this. If I am correct, that would be possibly a Splinter Cell uh, or Metal Gear Solid. That's it. Sorry, Metal Gear Solid where you're hiding in the box and for some odd reason a random box sitting out where a guy guard just walked. Oh, what's this? Anyways, you could hide in there. What else we got, boy? <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay. I, I love anything Fallout. So here's the thing. Look at these. I want all six of those. I'm telling you right now. So let me just do a little camera pan. If you look over here in the top corner up here, you're going to see some Pip Boys or some Vault Boys. Oh, and I can't show you my... I actually have the Vault Boy edition of Fallout 4. Um, or... Yeah, whatever that thing is on your arm. I, Pip Boy. Pip Boy edition. I have that. I love it. And uh, it just sits there. I don't use it, of course. That would be mega nerdy. Like that girl who did jury duty in her Star Trek uniform. But I'm not that nerdy. But anyways. Oh, anything with the Vault Boy, guys. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh the one we got's not even listed on the back. This is great. I, oh, my. Beep. How great is this? Oh, my. It has a machine gun. It does have a machine gun. A vault tech. This is beautiful. Now here's the machine gun. Let's get that mamma jamma out. We don't even need the box anymore. This is staying out of the box instantly. All right. So here we go. And you don't know how to put it on. <laughs> well, give me a, give me a second here, boy. You don't know how to put it on. Ooh, children nowadays. Oh, oh, I think I got it. Okay, I. Don't think I got it. So it goes like this, maybe. Oh, it. All right, he holds on to it like a stand. Must be. Almost going cross-eyed to trying to do it. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Oh yeah, yeah. Even at my desk. Watch this. Right at my desk, I got this in one of the other blocks. I got my nerdy. Um, I think I got that last month or something like that. Focus on me. All right, yeah, whatever. It doesn't want to focus. And now look, nothing's going to focus. So my big hand, focus. Now we're back. Aww. So here we go. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Thank you, Isaac. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at your father. It was funny. And not just a laugh. You were yuck, yuck, yuck. You were yucking on me. All right, so this is staying out. This is staying on my desk. I love this. Um, arcade block if you're watching and I think you do watch my videos anyways I would like um, 30 of those please oh Isaac next one oh a sniper elite 
laser pointer or is it mini keychain projector? Okay, so look look at this. Well, how cool is that? All right, so that's pretty neat. If you've never played any of the Sniper Elites, overall the games are good. They may not be awesome, but the kill cams are so cool. Anyways, we've got a mini keychain projector. So, um, image projected that projects a light up image of crosshairs. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a little crazy. Batteries included. The 360 swivel. All right. Anything with a light or flashlight, Isaac's all excited about. So, all right. And apparently he's opening it right now. All right. We're not done yet there, boy. I know, just hold your horses and let's get up. Um, here, I'll open it for you. Just so the fans, so the people can see. It's a keychain. All right, so here's what it looks like if you can see it. All right, you should be able to see it. <laughs> right here. I know this is really weird to do something like this, but you can kind of see there's the crosshair. How messed up is that? <laughs> Oh, you know you're insane when you do a crosshairs on your forehead. All right, let me see. What else we got, boy? What else we got, boy? Yeah. Oh, Isaac, I love you to death, kid. Oh, oh. T-shirt time. It's white. And it's green. It's what? what? Green white and, white. and green? Okay, cool. I thought you were going to correct me on my colors, which wouldn't be the first time. So this is, I'm going to say a Tomb Raider t-shirt, possibly. So here we go. It looks like it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex head. But if you look right here, that looks like Laura Croft, maybe? Hey. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what the book says. Oh, I just pulled out the next item. What is this? This is called Event Zero. Oh, okay. This looks like the same. Wow. Okay. Are we getting free flipping games every month? Okay. This is called Event Zero. It's like the same box as our, our last one where it looks like it's an N64 box. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm going to read the back in my movie theater announcer voice. Now I'm going to have to look at it just so you guys can see. In a world where humankind has embraced artificial intelligence, you are stranded on an abandoned spaceship. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. So, yeah, I don't know, man. That looks kind of cool. Do you get to play it? Yeah, it's a Steam game, I believe. Please focus. Huh, okay, so let's see what else it says. Is the last one a Steam game? The last one is a Steam game as well, even though you play my computer games. Event Zero is a game about building a personal relationship with a machine. You, you type messages into a computer and Kazen answers. As in a relationship, you experience gratitude, disappointment, and sometimes jealousy. It is by working through fears and anxieties of your virtual companion that you'll find your way back to Earth. And it's got a, a nine winners. Okay, so winner, st uh, student awards, innovation, jury choice, indicate, uh, finalist, and six other. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm down with that. Let's open the box. I like the boxes. I really do. Well, here's a free Steam game. Let's build a box for it. So that's awesome. Here's the code anyways. But yeah. Oh, crap. And this one too? In a world where humankind... So yeah, we get a soundtrack as well. I hope it's good. And even if it's not, it's a free game. I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Here's the thing. 1999 guys. For a box of goodies. And I'll tell you, if I was to order even my uh, Vault Boy online, this would be like 29 bucks. American, most likely. And since I'm Canadian, ching ching, extra expensive. Okay, here we go. We have an ex Here's our book for this month. Is it just the card in there now? Oh, what is that? Glad we didn't look at the book yet. Oh my beep! Here we go, check this out. Awesome, this is a certificate of authenticity. Uh, original, blah, blah, blah. 
All right, so I don't even know really what this means. I'm assuming it is an official Sega piece of cardboard. Here it is, look at this. Revenge of Shinobi. Oh, that's cool. I like this. And since this is an old school Sega game, even though when I was a kid growing up, I was a Nintendo fan. So you were at, back in the day, you were either Nintendo or Sega. Not too often could people afford both systems. So it was either one or the other, and I chose Nintendo side, which of course I'm very happy about, even though they do copyright claims on my Nintendo game videos. Alright, so exclusive Q&A with creators of Event Zero, Freddy Krueger's most creative kills, again. What's inside January's Gamer Block? Okay, cool. So here's the Freddy Krueger thing again. That was in the last one. Uh, okay, interview with Matt Hamill. Oh, now, see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. So, Arcade Block, you beautiful people. If you are watching this, please, for every month, give us one of these. And I'm going to say I love you forever, but I'm going to do... I'll still love you guys forever anyways. There's a Sniper Elite thing. Even though it's really bright, I'm sorry, guys. That reading it's hey, not very it's supposed cool. supposed to be like that. Oh, it? yeah, yeah. He's supposed to hold on to it. Well, we'll, we'll try to fix that after. And so there's the um, Metal Gear Solid Cardboard Box Pin. Right. Revenge of Shinobi Event Zero. Tomb Raider T-shirt. I was right. Go, go, Gamer JP. Next month's theme is round two. Fight. Um, all right. So I'm either going to say that's Mortal Kombat. But Street Fighter is an M isn't M-rated. So I'm going to go with Mortal Kombat. Interview there with Emmanuel Forno. There's the uh, doppelganger stuff. We just saw that in yesterday's unboxing. So it's almost the same magazine of sorts, but just like with a different insert. So still celebrating Nerd 2017. Hashtag Gear of the Nerd. All right. Wow. That was awesome. To me, this is nerd therapy. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This, this stuff I is fun. Love Oh, the card! Okay, so we did get another one of these. Good. I gotta check my puzzle, man. I wonder if I get all ten pieces or nine pieces or whatever it is yet. Or twelve. I don't know. Isaac, what do you say? You like this? Yeah. What was your favorite item? Everything. Everything, yes. All right, kids. Um, this was fantastic. I loved, um, loved the Shinobi um, card or um, picture. I need to get a frame. I have several of those anyway, so... Here's the booklet. Oh, hit your right in the head. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Got the card. Beep. So, Event Zero game. Super. Steam games. Heck yeah. And then um, your t shirt for Tomb Raider. We've got our Sniper Elite. There's the crosshairs. Pow. Pretty crazy. And then our pin, which is awesome. This was a great month. Oh, and then this mind blowing item. Oh, I loved it, loved it, loved it. What if you get the rocket launcher one? Um, I'll be happy. I'll, I'm happy now. Give me as many... Here's the thing. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know I love uh, Legend of Zelda and stuff like that. I'm a huge Mario fan. Huge Fallout fan. But I, I love the, the era of Fallout. And I absolutely love their mascot of... Ow! The, um, the Vault Boy. You he have is. To fix that. I, I know, but this is probably driving you crazy that I haven't fixed it. And I'll see what I can do, okay? Okay, we got that hand in there. Oh, there we go. We did it. And his head bobbles. <laughs> so that's cool. Love this item. And it's staying right on my. That's why I almost dropped it again. <laughs> Too laughing at boy. <laughs> this is staying on my desk. I would have a full desk of Vault Boys if I could. It's just the ones up there are too big. All right, that is it. Leave a like. How about a comment? Give me a comment, guys. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you like to see. And that since this was the first time, it was like Arcade Block. Everyone, Arcade Block, mature. Tell me what you'd like to see. What would you like to see in there? I'm excited. I can't wait to get next month's, and I only have to wait 30 more days. Maybe a little less. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're having lots of fun. 
Um, and leave a comment. I always go back to the person's channel who leaves a comment on mine. Even if it's the first time you're watching it. Oh, cool. Whatever. Oh, I like this. I'll go back to your channel, watch your video, and leave a comment and a like as well. It's just what I do. Anyways, I love everybody. You guys are awesome. Thank you for stopping in, watching, all that stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. My name is Paul. You guys take care. Oh, but I don't want to play. <laughs> you don't want to play this? Oh. If, okay, if I don't get knives in. You know. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Puberty at its finest. <laughs> I oh, man. Okay, wait. Uh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, what? Crap. Squeal? It. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Stop. God.